This is the phonetic farm. I have here in my basket a bunch of animals. So you want to look for um, animals that the child can sound out phonetically, like cat and pig. It might be hard to find little individual animals, so you might want to either go to the arts and crafts store, or I find some little cute objects on the Montessori website, or you don't have to spend money at all. You can just, if you're artsy, draw little animals. I like to have my animals stand up, or you can have them lay down. I have a wagon, I have a tree. If you're not artsy, just print off pictures from the internet and then paste them on and, and you'll have your farm. You also need a set of words, your nouns, your adjectives, and your verbs. I made these words and I printed them off my computer. I tried to color code it the way it was in my Montessori classroom, but you can use whatever color you want. Be creative, you can do a colorful border or you can do just the font in that color or if you don't wanna do color, you can put like a little triangle or a circle over the word. But anything just so that the child can distinguish the words between noun, adjective, and verb. So first, I'm going to set up my farm and I'm gonna use the objects that I've collected and the child can have fun putting their animals and objects and people wherever they like. Again, this is the phonetic farm. So you wanna find things that the child can sound out like pig. And they don't have to use the whole basket. And then you're going to introduce the nouns. Explain that nouns are naming words. They are words that name a person, animal, place, or thing. And the child will read the words and put it next to the appropriate object. And you don't have to use all the words. And that's how we do the noun portion. And that's all you teach in one day. Once the child understands nouns, then you can move on to the adjectives. And I have the adjectives in blue. Explain how an adjective describes a noun. So here we have wet. I'm going to make it a wet rabbit. Pink. Pink pig. Mad. A mad dog. And fast. Fast wagon. And as you can see, I have a lot of adjectives. So if the child wants to lay it out and really look through it and choose the right adjective for them, let them have fun with it. So now they know their adjectives and nouns. And once they're comfortable with their adjectives, then you can move on to giving them a lesson about verbs. Verbs is something that you can do. So you can't pink, you can't pig, but you can run. So the mad dog runs. Pink pig sits wagon tips, wet rabbit swims, and so on. This is as far as we go with the phonetic farm. We get into adverbs and articles when we are teaching the non-phonetic farm. Have fun!